damn it's early. <laughs> the earliest I've ever had a run anywhere. I've adjusted to the time zone and it's quarter to five in the morning right now. My last day here in New York, it's pitch black. As you can see, sunrise is about half five, I believe. I'm going to miss this place so much. And I wanted to end the trip with a ban. And the best way to do it is doing two things I love, running and football. I'm going to run to Pier 5. It should be about a 7K run. I've done so much on this trip that my body is telling me to stop, but I'm powering through. Meeting Just Knuckle and Ben Rowe on this trip really reassured me into how we run our YouTube channel. It's been really difficult to prioritise uploads this year because of so much that's been going on. We filmed so many videos and we have so many videos still for you guys to see. So where we're running to, it's just over there. Manhattan behind me. Brooklyn in front. So the ball I'm using today, I actually bought yesterday and did some freestyle here after I bought it from Soccer Post in Brooklyn. Check this out guys. Look at that. That's so sick. Love to see it. We made it. 7.7k. Oh, that was a tough run. I've got blisters on my arm from where the bag was rubbing against my elbows. So sick to be here though. Haven't been here in years. Had some amazing experiences here with Daniel Dennehy, 7MLC. Check those videos out in the description if you want to see some old content from us here. Yeah, the best times I've been here. I don't think the goals are full size. Yeah, these aren't full size goals. Oh, that's a bit of a blow. My hand goes over the bar, so definitely not full size. Okay, so I found the full size goals. They're padlocks, what a shame. Never used to be like that. They'd always be either end. We'll use a small goal and just do a knuckleball training session. My knuckleballs need work anyway. <laughs> so maybe it's fate to have a smaller target to aim at. Would you use the two full size goals exactly how they are together? Or would you use the small goal like I'm about to? Not a match ball at all. I didn't come to New York with a ball and for the last day I thought, why not? Let's get a ball to film a video with today. Found these as well. Buzzing.
I wouldn't do this setup at Three Hills, but because of being here and where the sun is behind us, I'm going to be inspired from 7MLC. He uses this camera angle, the mesh net, close up, and if we get the ball to ripple in there, that's gonna look so sick. That didn't exactly go to plan. Hit the camera, the battery flew off. I don't even know if the GoPro got it because it died when I came over to check. Better play Michael for having the patience to do that because that's long. <laughs> An executive decision is being made. The sun up there is just too bright. It looks really dark on the camera. So I'm going to shoot from the right side, 25 yards out, I've already marked it. And we're gonna aim for the top left of the left goal. I'm out of water and I'm not even lying when it's probably like 28 degrees and I'm really debating just leaving my stuff here and filling my drink up because I'm pretty sure there's a tap at the end where the hut is here. Please, please. Oh my god, yes. This is where you just see someone in the background running off with my stuff. Oh my days, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> You are not going to believe what I've just seen. <laughs> I've been to this pitch so many times before and I've never known that there's a water fountain just here. <laughs> oh my days, that's hysterical. So earlier on I ran all the way over there to fill my bottle up and I could have just gone here. Feel free to 10 second skip if you want to go back to the free kicks. Because I haven't been to New York in so long, I've almost forgotten what it's like to be in the presence of the city. And one of the key apparent features of New York for me is the freedom to be yourself. I have felt so restricted over the last four years as to what I can and can't do. We've all been under some form of control and you guys may have personal experiences to yourselves where you haven't been able to do the things you want to do. I haven't been able to come here for four years that is not normal. I am blessed to be here right now in exactly the same way I was four years ago, only older, <laughs> but nothing has changed in my body. I'm still here, still living, still taking in the sights and being free. And that's what New York is all about for me, being free, being creative and being yourself. If I hit anyone over here, I'm not responsible for that. I was here first and they've parked themselves there.
get in the thumbnail quick. It's just gone half eight. It's crazy how busy it is now. Chewing gum, knew it. That is vile. It's currently July and I've just filmed that video. It could be uploaded as late as October, November time, which is crazy to think. It was really nice to practice from the right side as well. It's been a long time since I have done free kicks from the right side. Thank you for watching guys. I'm gonna get a drink because my mouth is as dry as a desert. Look at it. One of my bucket list checklists when I'm in New York is to play pick up basketball or just join in with someone and shoot some threes. I'm on my way back now and I thought I'd just see how much about to Yeah, go ahead. Have a go, cheers. There you go. That's funny, I'm fishing that. Over there. I like this camera. Thank you very much. Yeah, no